Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. Stock Talk without Kameho. And today we are going to talk about more stocks that are cannabis stocks. Because yes, cannabis stocks are going crazy right now. Uh, one of the first ones we're going to talk about today, it's a short show. Kameho's tired, he's uh, still, he it seems like he was dragging all the show this week. But uh, we want to get some of these uh, stocks in before uh, Monday when they start popping again. Uh, it looks like uh, some that are trending above the line. The first one is Cura Leafs Holdings. Uh, it's currently trading at $16.10. Cura Leaf Holdings. C U R L F. C U R L F. Uh, going to the website. We brought it up right here, Cura Leaf. You could see at home. Check that out. It says, uh, "Welcome to our home." Mm, that's nice. Where the grass is not just greener, it's better. <laughs> you know, if you know what this stock, the grass is always going to be green because marijuana stocks could be very volatile and play good. Uh, they could take off really quick, but they could also burn you because of the shorters. But if you get in on the low as well. You're going to make some coin. So it looks like Cura Leaf, uh, let's see here. They have, it says their cannabis is one size fits all. Not all one size fits all. So they're obsessed with growing the best strains of meticulous, and they're meticulous only about homegrown. Aren't we all meticulous about homegrown? We all like that homegrown. It's been lab tested, and they ensure that they get it from the most honest places of Mother Nature itself. Oh, isn't that sweet? So, so ask them, they say, ask them anything. Nothing is a bad question. So they actually have Q&A where you can go on to their company and ask them questions. Companies do that, but do some companies care about it? This company seems like it does care about you. So they had some plugs on CNN before, which is, eh, CNN, whatever. So, but uh, cable news, you know. But anything to get the hype going. There's the buds right there. You can see the buds looking good. They got the they got the peeps out there. Uh, it looks like about the company. They got the overview. Good website, by the way. So this is definitely a company. They're going somewhere. Sixteen dollars a share. Not as risk a. Uh, it's not like in the change level. So you're good on that. Uh, and check out, dude, whoa, check out the freaking cultivators and check out the, the green, the greenage right there. That's some good stuff. So they say providing patients with quality cannabis for health and wellness is the focus. So they deal in medical cannabis, which is great. Um, they say there are creators. The cannabis flower is marvel and we believe that the cannabis isn't one size fits all. So in addition to fresh offered cure fl cured flour, we also craft lab-tested cannabis products which are available in all product formats. Uh, looks like they have a history of the, uh, going towards the ancient plants that brought everything together. That's good. And they set up private consultations just for you so you can learn more. That's awesome. So this company, I would have to say by reviewing it, would say that... Uh, it's they're a pretty open company. It seems like they would answer your questions and most companies you go to you're just another number But these guys want to grow uh, So far the people affiliated with it seem like they're nice and they're leaving themselves open So and they're also matchmakers. They say they say that's their forte Their products are available in a wide variety of strange terpenes deliver method delivery methods dosages cannabinoids and ratios so they have all kinds of varieties of cannabis products that you can choose from. They also have a guide. It looks like they have, you, everyone walks into a dispensary looking for something. Their goal is to meet your needs and work with you to curate your own. So how many people have gone to a company where they just don't care? They're just like, whatever, you're just another number in the system. These guys actually want to cater to you and to check, get the needs of what you want, not what they think, and just try to push a product on you. So they try to customize to you what they want. Looks like they're operating 22 states, huge, 101 local dispensaries, 22 cultivation sites, 
30 processing sites. Here's a question, guys. Back in the day when this was a dollar, wouldn't you want to be the one that got in? If you did, you made coin. So this company is growing. They're looking like they're taking the money that they get from investments and they're putting it into it. So, and uh, they're, in Mass they're a Massachusetts native. They're proud of their East Coast roots. Uh, looks like, and these this is the state's maps that they're in. If you want to take a look at the maps right on the screen. Okay. I wonder if Cureleaf is going to come out with a little beverage. That could be on the ticker. You know that... Uh, there's been a few of uh, the beverage ones, iBev and things like that. Mm. Maybe they'll team up with Amazon and make a, a cannabis one. So they they say they're leaders in team brands with leading cannabis products. They held the highest standards. They even qualified for a Yahoo article yesterday. Yes, Yahoo did a debut on there. So news, 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 news. They have news for themselves uh, as far as uh, being uh, being out there right now. So that's going to bring the stock up. But your entry point, be careful. Because this one is swinging. And so you could possibly get this one on the downtrend and then get back in later at a cheaper price. Uh, they also are, are good in the community. They hold blood drives, donations, cancer fundraisers. So here's my thing. We do stock reviews every day about companies. But this is one of the first websites that I've ever seen and gone on there. I mean, they could be, uh, you know, full of soup to me as far as just saying this. But when a stock company, a company that is, uh, you know, has good news and they're on the stock market, usually they're not peddling stuff like they do this and that. But these guys actually are sincere. They're doing blood drives. They're doing municipality donations to cancer fundraisers, hot meals to the homeless. This company to me is is top. It's 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 to give a look. I would say it's one of the top ones I've seen so far this week. I've covered a few other ones as far as pharmaceuticals and things like that, but these guys are they're top. They 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 look like they're a class act as far as that goes. And uh they want to let you know that they give you a f warm fuzzy feeling inside. Looking at this website, oh, this is the best one out of all the websites we covered, the team so there's the freaking team right there. They got that. Uh, let's see. Their brands. Cureleaf, Cureleaf Hemp, Select. Let's go to all brands right here. Uh, Cureleaf is the largest national retailer dispensary brand in the U.S. They have premium mainstream cannabis brands in multiple states and product formats. There's the Cureleaf Hemp right there. Okay. And then there's your Select Cannabis right there. And it looks like Select Cannabis uh, is has a setting of standards around pesticide, hardware, oil testing. The result, cleaner, better products. That's the biggest thing I've noticed, and I would give them another A plus for focusing on clean products. We need clean products, and that's the thing that people don't realize. If you're going to use this stuff, you got to know where it comes from. So if these guys are putting out where they're doing their stuff and they're pesticide free, it's a company to invest in. And if you are a user of that kind of, of thing because you need the treatment or you need this product, then that is also good that, that they are showing you it's clean. Because a lot of people don't know some of the sources where you're getting these things, they're not clean. And a company like this, you know, they're, they're showing where they're getting their stuff and they're not hiding it. And they're showing that it's clean. They also have UKU Cannabis, which is right here. Okay. UKU Anavis is experienced growers cultivated cannabis for connoisseurs. They work timelessly to perfect the art of growing and science of processing using sustainable methods to ensure safe and potent products every time. So they're all about safety, they're all about the community, and they're all about... And they actually show who they are. They actually have the nerve. Some of the companies I go to, they don't even have a freaking website. It's a joke. And you could just tell... So. When you're on these other companies' websites, you can just tell that some of these companies are like, and we all know what that sound is. That is the mice getting lured into the river for the pump and dump by your Pied Piper. Yep. These guys don't look like they're the Pied Piper. And this wasn't from a pump dump. This wasn't from a pump dump list. This is just they're doing good things and they're getting shown on Yahoo. So give them a call out. I could read a little bit from the Yahoo article what they said. And they said, all eyes are on marijuana stocks 2021. 
Ongoing activity for cannabis space is drawing more attention from investors who are looking for growth. So they put down Curaleaf and Chicago-based Cresco Labs, which we'll cover next, are shown to be solid growth revenue, solid growth revenue in the U.S. cannabis market. So let's see. And you know what that means for you guys. So take a look at these guys because that could be your future. Yes, that could be your future. Does marijuana pot stocks pay off? Yes, I am a big proponent of that. Those are the two best stocks I sold and made the most money off of. I also made money off of the uh, pot beverage ones. That's pretty much where I've made most of my dough. Here and there, I've done a couple things here and there as far as other companies. But cannabis will pay you money. So let me get your next ticker out for your next stock. It will be cannabis because this is a weekend and you got to celebrate for the weekend. And how you celebrate for the weekend is cannabis. I was perfectly planning the show for Kameho, but obviously he missed out. Uh, he's he's freaking blasted. But we'll we'll hear from Kameho on Monday. My next stock I want to talk about, which is another money maker. Uh, in the future and coming up, I do not see the, any of these stocks, these two, uh, becoming ones where they're going to be lower than where they are. If they do go lower, lower that's in your benefit, but I do not see them going uh, as far as down below. I see them going higher and higher just because of the investigations I've done. Uh, if you look at the trade pattern, we're at 17.25 this morning, and then if you look at the EMA, SMA lines... This thing's been popping for a long time. If I go back to a three-year history, a three-year history, the lowest we were at was below five bucks. So the highest it's gotten to is around 20. Uh, this could be your down tick. It is only up three cents today, but we're gonna take a look into Cresco Labs because that one is going to be, is they're going to keep on pumping legalization of pot stocks and things like that. So if you can get your hands on some cheap real estate, like I've talked about, you need to buy, buy, buy. The cannabis industry is only going... I have junk stocks sitting from five or six years ago and eight years ago, and they're just sitting, and I don't get rid of them, even though some of them are worth nothing, just because they're going to pop. And the thing is that you have to look at is if they acquire cryptocurrency processing and get into crypto as well, that thing is just... Those things are going to jump and take off. So Cresco Labs has shown solid growth as well and consistent consistency as far as on the stock market, okay? They have a strong footing in the U.S. cannabis market, and they are profitable. So they, they have gained 366% in the market. So let's go to their webpage, Cresco Labs, and here's the website. Pretty sick with it. Decent. It doesn't look like they're operating out of mommy's basement. They have all the products if you scroll through. Each one is a scroll through to swipe. Uh, let's see what we got cooking here. Uh, dude, this looks freaking good, guys. Like, seriously? We're looking good. So, C Cresco Labs is a portfolio of trusted brands array of consumer lifestyles from people who are familiar with cannabis and those who are brand new to it. Their brands cater to a wide variety of needs and trusted uh, products and, qual and quality service. So let's see where they go. They house brands of Good News, High Supply, Mindy's, Reserve, Remedy, Wonder. Uh, they have a list of things that go through here. So they also uh, strive on high quality products. They have top flight products, uh, premium cannabis for cannabis connoisseurs as well, just like the other company, and medical relief for patients. They have world-class uh, facilities of team cultivation. My my thing on this, guys, is buy, 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 buy. I'm not saying when to buy. I'm not saying you're going to make wheelbarrows for the money. I'm not trying to be the Pied Piper on you. But I'm just going to tell you, to you need to check these guys out. And here's the good thing about them. They got retail locations. Look at this. Well, over 29, li 29 licenses in six states are available to guide patients through. So check that out. Don't take my word for it. It's on my freaking screen right there. Uh, Sunnyside. Cres Cresco Labs is the first national retail brand. Sunnyside represents a new kind of cannabis shop designed to broaden the spectrum of wellness and to include cannabis. Bright, welcoming to convenient each Sunnyside serve. They're in Arizona, Illinois, 
several stores in Illinois, Massachusetts, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and so forth. Uh, they've got a customer service line, guys. How many times have you guys gone? I know I have with, with numbers. And uh, let's just do a thing here, okay? I'm, we're going to do a little test here on the show. Let's bring up the website. Let's see if they actually answer the phone. Hmm. Let's try it, okay? We're going to go 1, 3, 1, 2. I've never done this before, guys, on the show, but we're doing it. 929. Let's see how long it takes for them to pick up. 929-0993. 0993. Let's see if they actually pick up. So most time during this time of period, we're not getting people to pick up, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna give them a call. Thank you for calling Cresco Lab. Ooh. No one is available to answer your call right now, but please leave your name, number, and reason for calling, and someone will give you a call back soon. Okay, so they did answer. They did. They don't have the callers. That was funny. You got. I thought maybe they would answer the phone. So that's kind. Of, that's a little bit iffy, but still not. Uh, let's see. Do they have a chat? Hopeful links. Even though they did this, guys, they didn't answer the phone. I'll still give them a chat. It's Friday, because you know what Friday is. Friday is a day that you can uh, speed. It's the only day you can speed on the highway, like Skilo said. He said he wishes it would be a Friday and he could even speed on the highway. Uh, retail, uh, let's see, they got their state, we already went to retail, uh, they got their brands, come on, sorry guys, I just want to see some more uh, products here, ooh, they got education, they have, so are you new to cannabis? Their goal is to provide you simple information on medical cannabis in a very straightforward and intuitive way, uh, they have their glossary, so, Overall, I give this site an A minus. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to hold anything over to them for not answering the phone because uh, it's it's a Friday. They get an excuse. Uh, let's see here. I'm just checking out one thing I wanted to share with you if it'll bring it up. So they had a thing. Oh, let's see. Seed. Through SEED, a continued network of our vision into repair the damage done by our nation's drug policies, there's a serving as champions of challenging a molding equitable and inclusive industry of the future. Uh, so social edu education, SEED is to develop uh, a pathway into cannabis industry for communities impacted by the war on drugs. Excellent. These are my kind of people. They are giving back to the community and trying to help the community back. We need to help the community because our communities are are destroyed by just everything. We're not going to get too political here, but uh, companies that can give back to the community and help the community out because it needs the help bad. So I would say Cresco Labs is a buy. Uh, the two companies we reviewed today, they're very strong. Uh, one of the things we try to do here more than telling you buy points and everything, our buy point is, is you make the decision we are the type of traders that we go in on the low and then we never buy on the high. So if this thing's in the green, chances are we're not going to buy it. We're going to go back five or six weeks. If we miss out, we'll catch the another, next bus on something else. So that's how we do all of our stocks. Um, these two today, file it back. Go back and watch the video again for the, the two signals. Find out what is best right for you. I can't tell you how to trade uh, Ricky Gutierrez, Zip Trader, Camejo. And uh, obviously when Rudy's around, he, can, he can't tell you how to trade. You are the ultimate boss. You are free to ask me any questions and how I feel. I'll be happy to guide you. Don't take my advice for it. If you need to, get on your knees and pray about it. Do what you got to do. But be your own man. Be your own woman. Uh, we'll be back on Monday with more hot stocks, new things. Maybe we'll have more cannabis to talk about. Maybe we won't have anything. But it was good uh, sharing the afternoon with you here. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. We love you guys. Uh, Kameho is over and out. And I would have to say, good night now!